And in just under two days' time, Cayman will host British Overseas Territories leaders. This as they converge for their pre-joint Ministerial Council meeting. Now, the meeting is aimed at setting the leaders' agenda for the JMC in London, which is going to be held in November. And joining me now is Eric Bush, the Chief Officer in the Ministry of International Trade, Investment, Aviation and Maritime Affairs. That's a <laughs> mouthful. Good evening, Mr. Bush. <laughs> Good evening. Good Thank evening. for being here with us on Cayman 27 News. Now, Pleasure. the pre-GMC is going to take place on Wednesday yes. at Seafire, That's Kimpton correct. Seafire. That's right. Can you tell us about what some of the areas for discussion will be for those leaders? This is the setting of the tone, the agenda for yes. the meeting in November, no? Yes, and, and, and the, the, the JMC is the uh, annual event that uh, the UK hosts in London, uh, and it, it, it gives the overseas territories individually and collectively an opportunity to talk with the FCO about issues of the day or issues that, that continue whereby uh, they're assisting, whether it be uh, hurricane response around good governance, security, uh, environment, uh, a whole range of issues. And no doubt beneficial ownership and some of the other hot topical issues will, will be, be front and center on that agenda. I wouldn't say front and center, but it's certainly on the agenda uh, because it, it's something that both the UK and particularly Cayman and, and other overseas territories with financial services uh, want to be constructive and, and work out uh, how we progress. At the end of the day, we need to be singing from the same song sheet, in a sense, right? Yes. With the other leaders, so we have more of a united front? Absolutely, and, and you know, issues like financial services, as I say, it is on the agenda, but because there is such a broad scope of uh, overseas territories, not all overseas territories have financial services. So it certainly w it would be unfair to say that it, it dominates the agenda. It, it is something that is discussed and, and, and we look to find um, some, some form of, of clarity in a unified position. Uh, but there's an, a number of other issues like uh, hurricane response and how, how we work, work that out, um, international trade, investment, uh, broadening the economy, how we, how we better serve our, our people and overall how the relationship uh, with the overseas territories and the Cayman Islands is working and how we can always look to improve it. And speaking of trade, we're also going to be hosting a trade show on the heels of this pre-GMC meeting. Talk to us a bit about that. Why? That's right. what, what can we expect from this trade so show? So the, the new Ministry of International Trade, Investment, Aviation, Maritime Affairs. For which uh, you have responsibility. For which, yes, I'm, I'm honored to be the Chief Officer and the Premier is the Minister. Uh, we're hosting, uh, understanding that we are, the Premier is hosting the pre-GMC, we're going to have naturally all of the leaders of the overseas territories here. Uh, also understanding that we're celebrating the 60 year anniversary of the Constitution this weekend, uh, we figured that because we have the, the audience here, uh, we wanted to host a, an, an inaugural international trade summit that looks to talk about what the opportunities are for the overseas territories, whether it be bilaterally or multilaterally together, um, or, and or with the UK understanding that the common thread in all of our constitutions is that the UK retains the responsibility for international relations and internal security. International relations can be considered as trade as well, uh, but we also understand and everybody respects that with the realities of Brexit, the UK's own bandwidth of international trade, international relations is going to really be honed in and restricted to their own interests. Right. So, so the, fact, uh, the, the fact of that uh, is, is one of the main reasons why this new ministry has been set up by, by the government. And because of that, now... And it's a proactive step. Absolutely. And, and, and so, so we're hosting it and, and it's being co-hosted with Lord Ahmad as the Minister of the Overseas Territories and Premier McLaughlin. Now, Lord Tarek Ahmad, he is going to be here in the Cayman Islands. Uh, will we have an opportunity to have interactions with him? So my understanding is a, a press conference uh, is being called um, later on this week. Uh, but we do, yes, he is coming for, for three days, which is quite long for, for a UK minister. Uh, on top of that, we also have uh, three uh, members of parliament uh, coming for a familiarization trip, which one includes Sir Graham Brady, uh, who is the chairman of uh, the Cayman Islands All-Party Parliamentary Group. Uh, Sir Michael Fallon, who is a previous Defence Secretary, and Sir Hugo Swire, again, uh, a previous Minister. So some real heavy hitters from a UK political uh, standpoint, and they'll be on hand and, again, accessible to the media. And an opportunity for the country as a whole to show what we have, really. Absolutely. Uh, you know, that, 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 that's one of the sort of 
ending taglines uh, of all the letters of invitation, whether it's sent by the Premier or myself, is we invite them to come and see what one of uh, Britain's finest success stories is, and that is the Cayman Islands. All right. Mr. Bush, thank you for being here with us on Cayman 27 News for giving us a precursor as to what to expect with the GMC and with the trade show, and we will be certainly keeping tabs on what happens and bringing it to the public. Thank you. Thank you again for being here with us.